Happy Friday, ladies and gentlemen. What would you think if I sang out of tune? Would you stand up and walk out on me? Let me always and I'll sing you a song and I'll try not to sing out of key. Oh, I get oh, by, I get with by. My yes, I get by with my friends. friends. Yes, I, oh, I get, get by with a little help from my friends. Oh, I'm gonna try a little help from my friends. That, my friends, is exactly the way harmony, or a series of tones sounding together, evolved through our history. Still not clear? Well, then let's take some time and break it down. Cue the theme! Okay, so here we are talking about the third element of music, harmony. But if you haven't watched the first two videos in the Music Element series, I highly suggest you do it. We're going to be talking about those concepts that we learned in those first two videos and build upon them as we learn about our new BFF, harmony. The easiest way I can think of of understanding harmony is to think of the difference between singing a song a cappella or without instruments and then singing it with instruments. Ukulele, guitar, piano, and harp are all great demonstrations of harmonizing instruments. In most examples of singing, you are only capable of singing one note at a time. This, of course, is harmony. Since most people are incapable of singing two notes at the same time without the aid of an instrument or another person, it is impossible to sing harmony by yourself. The minute you add that instrument, however, your voice and the instrument are singing different pitches at the same time. Thus, harmony. In fact, part of the beauty of those harmonizing instruments is that they can perform multiple notes at the same time without needing the singer to join in. They have the ability to play the notes all at the same time and without another instrument joining in. Thus the reason they are called harmonizing instruments. However, the way we could really understand how harmony works is by talking about non-harmonizing instruments. Instruments that can only sing or play one note at a time. Many instruments fall into that category, but I thought I'd use the one that's the most common to help us unpack harmony. The voice. This is the sound of one voice. So again, with just one of us singing, all you get is one melody. Spirit. A single tone after another single tone. The sound of one who makes a choice. This is the sound of one voice. This is the sound of voices too. The moment you add in the second me singing, thus the, the moment you have multiple notes at the same time and harmony. Helping each other to make it through. This is the sound of voices too. This is the sound of The more of me you add, three. the richer and more complex the harmony. Singing together in harmony. Surrendering to the mystery. This is the sound of voices three. This is the sound of all of us Singing with love and the will to trust Leave the rest behind, it will turn to dust This is the sound of all of us Sometimes the harmony sounds pretty great and resolved, like it's the end of a song. And sometimes it sounds tense and unfinished. These kinds of harmony have specific names. The first, the resolve kind, is called consonants. The thing about consonant harmony is that it just sounds pleasant. There is no tension. There's no stress. It's just butter. However, if all music and all harmony was just consonants, we'd get bored really quickly. Luckily for us, there is the opposite of consonants. Dissonance. Dissonance occurs when tension occurs in the music. When some notes of the harmony don't sound very good together, they clash. They grate just a bit. While 
it can be exciting and grab your attention. If music was only full of dissonance, it would be a turnoff. The best kinds of harmony balance both consonants and dissonance. <laughs> Resolution, tension, tension, resolution. Just like a good story, music needs both to keep your attention. In the future, we'll talk a lot about the different kinds of harmony and how to analyze it, but for now, it's good enough to know just what it is, when it sounds pleasing and when it sounds not so pleasing. But since we have a little bit of time, let's combine a couple of ideas with harmony. It'll be a bit of a review. The next concept will combine the three elements we've talked about, rhythm, melody, and harmony. I suppose you could call it a super element, and that element is texture. Texture is concerned with how harmony, rhythm, and melody intermingle. Texture is not just concerned that there are multiple voices, but actually how those voices work with one another. The first kind of texture I want to explain is homophonic. To understand them more completely, let's break apart the stems. Homo means same. Phonic means sound. So, with homophonic texture, you have two or more lines of music sounding at the same time. To further elaborate, these multiple lines actually use the same rhythmic structure. Many hymns are homophonic. The easiest way to understand homophonic texture is to hear chords. Chords are three or more notes stacked together. While the pitches of the chord are different, they have the same rhythm. A single chord does not make homophonic texture, but if you string a series of chords together, sometimes called a chord progression, you are on your way to creating a song in homophonic texture. Polyphonic is the second kind of texture to explore. Poly means many, and phonic, as we know, means sound. So with polyphonic texture, you have many lines that sound at many times. Basically, it's two or more independent musical lines. They are independent for both melody and rhythm. Polyphonic texture has a common device called counterpoint. It can happen in lots of different ways. The most understood way is when you have a single melody, but different voices started at different times. This is also sometimes known as a round. While polyphonic and homophonic are actually the most common kinds of texture, it is possible to have a song that utilizes both. In fact, in simplest terms, when you play a chord on a ukulele or guitar, you are playing homophonic texture. But when you sing a melodic line on top of the uke chords, utilizing a different rhythmic structure, your melodic line is polyphonic to the ukulele. Since both polyphonic and homophonic ideas are present, we call this mixed texture. Consonance, dissonance, polyphonic, homophonic, chords, counterpoint, all of these concepts function as part of the harmonic element of music. Soon we'll explore the next element of music, timbre. But for now, a haiku. Pleasant consonance and tense dissonance create perfect harmony. Now it's your turn. Click on one of these videos to see if you can figure out which part of harmony I'm showcasing.